Hi, um, my name is Roland Tayawa. I want to share with you something very personal. Now, if you are an entrepreneur or you have a product that you are selling, I want to teach you one lesson. Always talk value. Always speak value. Value fast. Now, most, most times when we are selling our products or when we are selling our commodities or our services, we always want to talk price because we want to win the hearts of other people. Now, when you are selling a product, for example, I sell a service called Team Building. One of my products is Team Building. If I'm selling to my client, it's a two-way thing. Now, I'm giving them value. And I'm also getting value from, from, my, from my value. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying now. If I'm giving them value, means what I'm giving them is what they are paying for. My service is my value. What I'm giving them is what I have to talk about. And I would not have to talk about price unless I cannot avoid it. Because I'm talking about my product. Value is what you are giving your clients price is what the value your clients are giving you now your client should talk price for you should talk value your clients will start telling yeah you know you see we uh we are this but we uh, how much is your cost i will tell them maybe it's between uh 30 or forty thousand per person per day and they'll tell you no we have ten thousand now i don't have to lower my price because even if I lower my price, my value will still remain the same. Now, I stick to my price because I will tell you, no, that's not my value. Imagine investing 30000 in a person that is going to save you millions and billions of shillings in your company. Because now, this is what I'm giving you. I'm giving you, uh, this. my service is going to help improve your, cast, your clients. Sorry, your, my value is going to help me or help you increase your your employee satisfaction your employee motivation your employee uh it's going to reduce on employee uh staff turnover things like that talk about your value let your value negotiate for you let them think like you're actually being very affordable for them yeah because you're giving them a lot of things and they're seeing oh thirty thousand per day i think it's worth it you know they will give you that money but when you go low and you say ah, okay ten thousand it's okay i can take that oh god they'll be like okay so it means mm, they will start mm -mm. let me give you another example there are saloons for example men's saloons um there are saloons that will give you hair do for two thousand they are there five thousand they are there ten thousand they are there fifty thousand they are there even one hundred thousand just to do your hair where is the where is the difference now the difference is in the value the value this guy for 2000 is going to give they're all doing the same thing they're all doing your hair now the value this guy is going to give you for 2000 for 5000 for 10000 for 100000 is different because now the, the the products the guy for 2000 is going to invest in you is not worth for example, the one in 100,000 is going... No, you're going to go to a salon for 100,000 and one, they'll sell you, ah, guy, you can control the remote. <laughs> Second, there's an SC that you see, the, the scent they're using on you, the machines have been sterilized, they're using hot towels, there's a very beautiful lady holding your head. You know, they're going to give you a lot of value that you even won't feel cheated. But at the end of the day, they are going to do your hair. Now, they are attaching a value to just not doing your hair, but they are surrounding you with so many things now. That the, even that's that's where the term value addition comes in. Every business that you see that is running right now successfully, every person you see that you're doing the same business with and is earning more than you is because they have added value to the product. I'll give you another example of Rolex. Now, Rolex, this is the Rolex that we eat. On the roadside, it is 2,000. Two eggs and two chapatis. Now, there are these guys who have come up. There's, uh, there's the Rolex guy. There's Yuga Roll. There's uh, Rolex next to you. 
Now, these guys have beautified the Rolex. Now, they have gotten the Rolex from the roadside and added value to it. They've added some chicken, some nyamex. So, you'll find the Rolex in a very nice, organized place. And they'll sell it to you expensively. The same Rolex, egg chapati. But because I've added value, they'll sell it to you a Rolex at 20000 And you find people lining up because I've added value. Somebody may not feel comfortable eating by the roadside, but they are going to feel comfortable eating a Rolex inside the Yuga Roll Shop. Meaning they have added value now. Even you when you're selling your product, make sure you're talking value. What is that value you're giving me? If I want to buy your product, what is the value you're adding to me? What am I going to miss if I don't buy your product? What am I going to miss if I don't hire you? What am I going to miss if I don't come to your salon? What am I going to miss if I don't hire you to come and be my consultant? That is the value I want to hear. I don't hear your price. Price will come later because I know when once I know what I want, I can value it. Learn to value yourself. Even you yourself, what value are you adding to your company that you have? The company that has employed you, what value are you adding to it? This video is going to be longer, but I want people to understand value. It is very important. Very, very, very important. Value yourself. One of the most important things in business, in life, is value. What is your value? People will say, all women are the same, all women are the same. No. Some women are more expensive. A woman wants a wig of 100,000. Others want a wig of 10,000. Because they, some, know their value. You see women driving Range Rovers and everything and others driving spatches, others walking and you find a very beautiful woman walking and ask them why they are walking. No, it's not the choice. Maybe it's their value. Somebody has not seen your value to invest millions in you. But what is your value? You set your own value. Now, always talk value. That is my message for today. Always speak value. Always look value. And you will be valued. Don't talk price. No. Thank you. My name is Roland Taiwa. You can follow me, you can comment, and I'll be waiting for you in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching.